skeptic. Well, Falkirk Town Hall rang to the sound of both last night as international delegates and the unconvinced converged to discuss the latest sightings. Our man, Martin Geisler, infiltrated the meeting and smuggled back this report. People have been convinced there's something a wee bit spooky going on around central Scotland for years, so much so that more than 600 packed Falkirk Town Hall to the gunnels last night, and dozens more had to be turned away at the door. The show itself was opened by close encounters of the fourth kind, a rock band from Glasgow who say they form through a mutual belief that another world exists. They've all seen the proof, too, in the form of flying saucers. Then it was down to business proper, and armchair cynics beware. These guys have facts and figures. We're told there's no doubt UFOs exist. The only question is where they come from and what they represent. If people became more involved with the UFO subject and actually studied the data themselves, then I'm sure they'd be very much surprised. Take it from me, there's something clearly going on and being witnessed in the skies, not only in Scotland, but throughout the world, which demand investigations. The punters themselves were split into two groups. Those who'd come face to face with something that definitely put the frighteners up them. You had any contact with the next world yourself? Well, I, about five years ago, I thought I saw you up out in Inverness. And I, I'm ex-RAF pilot, so, um, you know, I'm a pretty good observer. What have you seen? Tell us about it. Just lights. Um, lights on the back road, you know, from Bonnie Bridge to Falkirk, from Cumbernauld. That road, yeah. And there were those who hadn't quite made up their own minds, but they were just dying to be convinced there's something else out there. Not had any experiences with the, the next world yourself, have you? Um, no, no, not really, no. <laughs> what do you make of all so far? Are you a bit sceptical, or are you...? Um, oh, I'd like to believe it, but I don't know if I've heard anything that um, makes me want to believe it, yeah. Well, I don't really think it's a bunch of facts. You can take a look around yourself. There's a lot of sensible, honest, educated people gathered here. Or whatever. Educated discussion, there's not any crack from here, but I carry on. So, no matter what people might have wished, last night's audience was definitely 100% human. If the wee green men did have an interest in all of this, they must have been watching from a fairly discreet distance. Little green man, Martin Geisler, there. And that was Scotland today's fight.